I had a wonderful relationship with my grandfather. He was a mostly retired doctor, and, and in the summers, we'd go visit him in Chicago, and then all go out to my grandmother's ancestral farm out in rural northern Illinois. There were just dozens of things to do on the farm. We could fish, shoot rifles, build forts and haymows, chase cows, help milk those cows, rid the pastures of Canadian thistles, pick veggies in the garden, lots of things to do. Well, one particular day, as I sat on my grandfather's lap on the porch of the old homestead, I figured we'd just been sitting long enough. I was seven and full of energy and suggested, Grandfather, let's do something. Well, he rocked in the old homemade rocking chair, just smiling at me, no response. He must not have heard me. Grandfather, I repeated with some additional volume, let's do something. We are, he replied. What are we doing, I asked. We're doing nothing, came the reply. Well, nothing's not something, I argued. Oh, but it is, my grandfather said. This story, which I remember vividly, came to me as I sat on a covered porch during a light rain last weekend in the little German country town of Hermann, Missouri. Hermann's rich German heritage makes it the perfect place for wineries, sausages, beers, antique shops, and lots of things to do. I sat on the porch watching the fog roll down the Missouri River and drift in and out of the trees, knowing there were a lot of things to do. After all, that's why we came here. And it dawned on me, what I was enjoying at this moment mostly was doing nothing. It's not the nothing I do when I'm avoiding a necessary something. It's not the nothing I do when I'm catatonic about making a decision. It's not the nothing I do when I'm exhausted and don't have the energy to do something. It's the nothing I choose to do. It's the nothing I do on purpose. I didn't do nothing for a long time. Just a quick battery charge and some amazement at the misty morning overlooking the Missouri River. And then it hit me. I was exactly the age my grandfather was when he shared that wisdom with me 67 years ago. Maybe we don't have time for nothing breaks between the ages of 7 and 74, but I think I'll make time now. I'm going to plan nothing breaks in the future. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.